Dakar Desert Rally roadmap for future DLC updates and content has been revealed. Here is what to expect, including, I kid you not, some SnowRunner trucks. Dakar Desert Rally has managed to steal tens of hours of my life, despite the fact it has a few issues to iron out. My full review is still coming, but in the meantime, allow me to share with you what the roadmap looks like. No, I am not talking about the kind of roadmap that old people keep in their glove box. I mean the intended product lifecycle, as in what to expect. In this case, what we will see in the remainder of 2022 and also in 2021. First up, a free update in October will give us what is called the Saudi Arabia Extended Map. This will include extra races across the map, as opposed to being confined to the northern region as it is currently. Hopefully, the quality of the routes is as good as seen in the base game. 2022 will also see one of the promised features removed at launch. I suspect wanting to launch with a more stable game was the reason, or perhaps certain features were just not ready. Anyway, whatever the reason, the free roadbook editor is coming, in which you can create and share custom events. Not only that, free roam driving around the claimed 20,000 square kilometers of Saudi Arabia is scheduled for 2022, and is also free to all players. Another dropped feature, you will now be able to explore wherever you want and enjoy those lovely scenic views. Sticking with new game modes for a second, 2023 will see another promised feature arrive. This time, the team customization tool used for creating custom liveries. Presumably, this will include making a whole custom team, but it is not yet clear. I do know it is another free update though. Another game mode set to release sometime in 2023, yes that is how specific the public roadmap is at the moment, will be the replay and photo mode. Also free to all. Given how pretty the game is, I was surprised it was missing in the first place. From a more niche perspective, it will mean I can make YouTube thumbnails that are way better. Weirdly enough, being sent six screenshots is not quite optimal for a content creator, but anyway. Now it is time for Dakar Desert Rally new vehicles. 2022 will see something called the Classics Vehicle Pack number one, judging by the picture. It will include at least the Porsche 953 driven in the 1984 Paris Dakar Rally. Three were entered, one came home with the overall prize. In addition, later in 2023, we'll see the launch of the Classics Pack number two, complete with a motorbike capable of wheelies, if that image is anything to go by. Now, is that a 1989 Honda XR V650 Africa Twin? It has the bullet hole protective plate, twin front lights, and the springy suspension cover. I am getting Yamaha Wiser the 850T vibes too, particularly the front suspension fork arrangement, but not the paintwork. Anyway, expect more content for Dakar Desert Rally in 2023. The developers have teased the hybrid vehicle pack and something called the USA Tour, which presumably will mean American vehicles and not an entirely new map. Would seem crazy after building 20,000 square kilometers of Saudi Arabia. And lastly, as teased in the headline, there will be a Dakar Desert Rally SnowRunner pack. The closeness of Sabre Porto and Sabre Interactive giving us a crossover. One in which going fast will not be a miserable, unpredictable, damage heavy experience. Based on the image, at least two SnowRunner trucks will be yours to hoon around the desert. The Khan 39 Marshall, a truck that used to be ridiculously fast before Sabre Interactive nerfed it in the early days. The other truck pictured on the Dakar Desert Rally roadmap is the R87, a six-wheeler capable of off-roading with the best of them. Whether or not we get the Tega King or other bigger SnowRunner trucks remains to be seen, but I really hope so. As the image says in large yellow text, these five DLC packs will be part of a season pass. If similar to SnowRunner, you can expect a one-off fee for all content or pay for each DLC separately. Now I have put 33 hours of my life into Dakar Desert Rally to really see what it is about. My review will be here when I can test out a few particular features, including steering wheel support. The devs told me to expect an update specifically for my fanatic DD Pro wheel and hopefully other 
others that are not working at their best, shall we say. Said update is meant to arrive this week, so I am keeping tabs on the Steam library. As soon as that goes live, I can convert my ongoing epic written review into video. Honestly though, despite the flaws, I have really enjoyed Dakar Desert Rally, and it appears to have a decent future. Just a shame that it launched with some missing stuff we were promised, including the aforementioned free roam driving mode. And on that note, be sure to like, subscribe and share this video if you would be so kind. Also let me know if you are enjoying Dakar Desert Rally in the comments and which vehicles from SnowRunner you would love to see, if any. Take care 